Okay, uh, back at this uh, two and a half ton six by six, and I've got the hood up uh, late this evening here, and got a couple new batteries for it. Gonna be trying to get the. I was gonna try and get those in tonight, but I, I'm just gonna run out of time here. Uh, and it's got the old batteries. I got the top clamp off of that one. That one didn't even have the clamp on it. It was already unhooked. So, yeah, this is this is the old six-cylinder engine. Um, as you can see, it's got a little bit different configuration for a distributor. I don't know if it's just military spec um, or if it's something, you know, for, for I imagine these things were kind of, in training they took them through water and mud and everything else and maybe that's to seal out all that garbage i don't know um but i'll have to open it up and see if there's points in there and i'm sure there is you know file those and make sure they're in good shape and the belts not too good that one's that one runs the uh the alternator which well it's big it must be a 24 volt alternator too um there's the air pump for the air assist brakes i'm going to take that belt off just because I don't want to run the air pump until I take it apart and go through it. You know, I don't need to drive this thing around. I just want to make sure it runs. And, uh, you know, that's the, I think that's the fuel pump. Now there's two wires that go to it. Uh, fuel coming in has the filter on it there, as you can see. And then the, the top line goes out into the carburetor. So, uh, yeah, it's an interesting old piece of equipment. And... It's been sitting for a lot of years, so I want to take my time. I'm going to take the spark plugs out, throw some croil down in those cylinders, you know, make sure they're lubed up halfway decent before I try and whirl the thing over. And uh, I might even disconnect that uh, alternator just because I don't know if that's it's good to just fire that thing off after it's been sitting so many years or not. It, I'll have to research that a little bit. Man, look at look at these fenders. 3 8 fine thread fasteners. <laughs> you don't see those in 2019 cars, 2018 cars. This is this is when stuff was built. You know that everything in this truck is made to withstand a rough terrain, and uh, you know even the radiator is massive. I got a pretty good size hand, and I can barely get my hand across it. So. And I don't, there's no fluid in there, so there's no, no coolant in it, so I'm hoping the radiator's good, but I don't know. It could have, something could have happened. Who knows? The radiator could have a, a hole in it someplace. I'm just hoping I can throw some coolant in there and it'll, it'll stay in there. If not, I'll have to get it repaired, I guess. Got a couple of air horns. So anyway, the project will continue tomorrow after a head down to the to the antique days for a little bit so stay tuned